morning. I'm off on my little wander. I'm gonna do my usual walk into the grove. I'm ridiculously tired, you know, but starting to feel a little less tired. And uh, it's interesting how much I'm having to really defend myself for the sake of getting boundaries and being able to do things like have a rest, which is silly. Good morning. Uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy that you should have to, I'm collecting blossom, uh, I would have to defend myself to be able to function and get as much rest as I need to prepare myself for the op. Because, you know, I'm starting to realise that to have this up, I need to prepare myself mentally and physically for going for it. And then again for afterwards as well. Got about dog walkers out this morning. So, oh, this one's got a couple. That's cool. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, puppies. <laughs> So, so yeah, I'm trying to prepare myself, but I need to be able to think straight first. I think I'm getting somewhere closer to thinking straight to be able to process the information given to me and understand it, which is quite a challenge. And then after that, I need to be able to uh, try and work out what's going on so that I can I mean I've made the arrangements but make the other arrangements like finding what I need to be able to get home comfortably enough you know making sure I get the right camp bed or whatever so I can like be home. I mean, I'm happiest in a tent, I'm happiest outdoors, I'm happiest in this kind of environment. So, once I've got a snuggly blanket or something, and uh, something that I can sleep in that'll give me shelter, no bother at all, quite happy. Uh, so, it's remembering to remember the important things because after the operation I won't be able to go shopping <laughs> you know so, so yeah I'm gonna I'm off on my adventure this morning and then I'll see how that goes and shortly I'll phone uh, the hospital and then maybe I'll get to go and see her later on. Uh, I don't know. But at least this way I'm getting to find out what information is really important uh, for what I need to know. Um, and I'm also getting to eat what I need to eat. Uh, to prepare myself because eating a load of shite now wouldn't do me any good at all so I'm being really mindful that I eat the right things for my body uh, which is quite difficult with a nana that seems to come out with at least one cake if not two a day for the last two days she's had was it yesterday she had apple pie Ramley apple pie uh, and Victoria sponge the day before was Victoria sponge and um, sticky toffee pudding it's uh, the day before that there was another two cakes I think so it's, it's really quite trying to be polite um, and trying to find my balance is quite difficult because I don't want to eat that. Uh, 
is it's not, you know, ideal. And she's like, I'm just having a snack. Let's eat some caramel wafers. I'm like, well, actually, uh, I bought some fruit. She's going, why? Are you on a diet? I'm like, no, Nana. But cancer eats sugar. Cancer enjoys sugar. Cancer feeds off sugar. And I'm trying to avoid it. She won't remember that. But that's okay. But she did ask, so I told her. I wouldn't just go in and say all these things. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to get myself together, find out the information and work out how to move forward. Now I'm going to go and uh, see how the day goes. But if there's anything to update you, I shall update you. So have a really good day. Big loves and uh, I'll catch you later.